long layoff uh, since we last played in the Tennessee game. So um, we're excited to get back out there and compete again. Obviously, we play, um, uh, you know, a, a, another Louisville institution in Bellarmine, who um, I know Coach Davenport very well. I've known him for many, many years. Uh, I've worked with his son Doug, and um, have the utmost respect for him and his program, and his staff, um, the tradition that they built there. Uh, he's a terrific coach. I think one of the best coaches in the country. So, um, I've been preparing for them. Obviously, the first you know six or seven days of our off day, off period, uh, the majority of the time was spent on us, kind of going back to preseason mode a little bit, working on all facets of our system on both sides of the ball. And then uh, you know the latter half of this break has been uh, a lot of focus on preparing for. Um, preparing for Bellarmine. So we're excited about getting going again tomorrow, and um, I'll open up to questions. Yeah, Coach, I'm just wondering, you know, uh, normally after a loss, coaches like to get right back into a game, but given how early it is in your season and your tenure here, was that nine-day period helpful? I think so. Um, we would have looked at the bright side regardless of whether we had a break later or break earlier and found the advantages of that, but I think our team uh, approached these nine days or eight days, nine days, whatever it is, with the right mindset. Um, you know, they were leaning forward, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed uh, in in wrapping up the Tennessee game in terms of the, that day or two afterwards when, you know, we watched a lot of film on that game and then went back to practice. And then obviously, like I said, had, had more preseason-oriented practices, but our guys responded the right way. They knew there was a lot of things that uh, we had to improve on and we had to clean up. And uh, I loved our mentality and our approach the last the last several days, the last week or so. When you you kind of talked about um, you know doing a film session with the team of that game, you know being being uh, being uh, one of the longest that you've ever done as a head coach. I'm just wondering, like as you kind of go through that process, like how do you just you talked about you know uh, you know showing the guys the good things that you did. How do you kind of you know keep a balance of you know, I guess uh, trying to fix those mistakes, but then also kind of you know, you know uh, keeping players you know, heads up high. And, yeah, no and doubt. Um, you know, in wrapping up that game, there there was a lot of positive things we did as well. And in that film session, it wasn't planned uh, on on going that long. But the reason it did is the guys were extremely attentive. Um, they were participating throughout. Um, they knew there were some things that needed to be cleaned up and needed to be fixed. So it wasn't like you know a long film session where it was just um, you know an hour and a half of aggressive counseling, <laughs> if you will, where I'm just you know blasting them, getting after them. We, we cleaned some stuff up and we addressed everything, and it was very productive. But at that, at the same time, um, there were clips, a lot of clips that we showed on both ends of the ball of things that we did effectively and did well. Also, um, we say all the time, never accept in victory what you wouldn't accept in defeat, and. Um, you know, even coming out of the Moorhead game, you know, there were things that we had to fix, things we did very, very well, and we showed the good and the bad in that game. Um, did the same thing for Tennessee, and we'll do the do the same thing for every game moving forward. Not obviously to that length, but um, we'll always go back and, and use the mistakes and the, our shortcomings as teaching opportunities to get better, uh, and then you know at the same time, you know, celebrate some of the things we do well, so we can build on that as well. Yeah, was there was there one thing that you felt like was the biggest thing that you had to clean up? And I guess in regards to that, it was really the first time you guys said no disrespect to the other teams, but the first time you played someone to that caliber. How much maybe was it that that was the first time your guys as a group had faced something like that? Um, yeah, it was obviously the best team that we had played to this point, and uh, they're, they're very very well coached and run a great system. I think. Um, you know, it was a very physical game from the very beginning. I think um, I said this before. Officiating did a great job, but you know, usually establish officials establish early on how the game is going to be called, and I think we could have done a better job of adjusting. Now, when going through that film session, was there something in there, good or bad, that you, you caught there that maybe you didn't see in real time against that Tennessee game? Yeah, I mean, you always do. We always say the tape doesn't lie. As you go back and you look into the layers and you look deep into a game. Uh, the little nuanced stuff on whether it's you know transition defense or pick and roll coverage or off ball screening action or our blockouts. I mean, there's um, 
themes obviously that you know coming out that you could see through the eye test, but then as you pour through the tape, you see in, in greater detail and you're able to get to the granular parts of getting better in, in, in all facets of our system, which is what I think we did the last nine days. And just a quick follow up, you mentioned how that film session wasn't just aggressive counseling and how there was back and forth between you and the team. Has that been something that you had seen before in prior stops? Uh, no, I mean, it, it, our guys are great. Um, you know, they, 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 they have the right approach and mindset every single day, even coming off of a win or coming off of a loss at Tennessee. And, um, you know, I would say all the stops and all the teams that I've coached usually have that approach. Following a, you know, a loss like that in the review and kind of overlooking, you know, every aspect of, of the loss that, that you guys can improve on. When you do take the floor and the lights come on, Cape Sinem Center against Bellerin, um, obviously you're going to be a, a heavy favorite, but what do you want to see from your team? Uh, when they when the ball is tipped and throughout that 40 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I just want to see in that first four minute clip us, you know, playing to our standard from an effort standpoint, from an execution standpoint on both ends of the ball, you know, and try to take it. And it's um, sounds like coach speak, but possession by possession, four minute segment by four minute segment. There's ten of those segments throughout the course of the game, and just being consistent. You know, there's going to be things that are for every team uh, that are broken throughout the course of the game that need to be fixed. Uh, you get to those media timeouts, you fix it. You go out to the next four, you know, the next four minute segment, and you try to do it better. So just that consistent approach throughout the course of the game. Um, you know, getting high with the highs and lows with the lows, you can't do that. You know, you, you, you got to have that kind of zero, zero mindset every time you take the floor when you come out of those media timeouts. Talked about just, just physicality of that Tennessee game. Did you all spend a lot of time you know, just, you know, just, just trying to uh, just trying to work on that sort of thing? You know, just trying to you know I uh, try to imagine other teams a uh, physicality level and if so like you know um, how is that done during a practice when you're, you know, Yeah, I mean we we always do that. You know, we're you know our environment is a competitive environment every single day and things we hang our hat on, I'm sure are the same things that Tennessee hangs their hat on. That's effort, physicality, toughness. You know, that's what we're always going to be about. Uh, this is the third straight year Bellerin and Louisville have played. I know that Scotty at some point was concerned the series might not continue. How did this game come about, and do you see it, it continuing in the future? Yeah, um, you know, he, he was, first of all, one of the first people uh, to call me or text me and congratulate me, um, you know, when I got the job here. And uh, it's been good to me over the years. We've talked X's and O's. Um, you know, Doug, I mentioned I worked with, he was a GA at Xavier when I was the associate head coach there. And uh, ironically, when I got my first head coaching job at Winthrop, I hired Doug as my director of basketball operations. And he was on the job uh, for exactly 36 hours <laughs> and um, walked in and looked like he had seen a ghost. And I said, Doug, what's wrong? He goes, coach, I got to talk to you about something. And I said, Doug, what, what's what's wrong? And he goes, um, I just got a call from Coach Patino, and he offered me a job at the University of Louisville. I said, Get your butt out of here right now! <laughs> <laughs> don't pass go. Don't collect a hundred dollars. So, um, you know, I just have a lot of respect for Scott, and I think it's good for the city. So you think we continue? Yeah. Pat, when you know, I like I will say, you know, scheduling is like putting a square peg in a round hole. So by answering that question, yes, I can't say for sure 100 percent, but I think it's uh, it's great that we're playing and it's good for the city. Pat, they're still looking for their first win. When you watch them, what do you see? Yeah, they're they're um, they're a really good team. Um, and uh, I don't think the record is indicative. In fact, I know the record is not indicative of the caliber of team that they have. Um, they have good size, they have good skill. Um, they have a bunch of guys that can shoot it and drive it and touch the paint. Um, they, you know, obviously Scotty is a, is a, uh, a very good coach, a very innovative coach. They play uh, a unique style in terms of um, their movement offensively. You know, in coaching circles, people talk all the time about the Bellarmine cutting, um, just their ability to move off the ball, and, uh, and, and they do it very, very, very well. Each of those games, um, 
you know, even even like the last game uh, against Marshall, and you know the the margin ended up being whatever it was. But you know, you watch that game like halftime; it's a tie game. They come out in the second half, and they're right there. But they they present a lot of problems: um, positional size, a lot of shooting, uh, very good skill. I mean, it is a team that that don't pay attention to the 0 and 3. They're going to get better and better and better throughout the year. Um, I think they're going to have the ability to wreak havoc in that conference. And, um, you know, we have the ultimate respect for them. And we take that floor tomorrow night. Um, you know, we've prepared for them with everything we got because of the respect that we have for their program, for Scotty Davenport, and for the skill level and talent level of their players. It's going to be a tough game. And, uh, and our guys are approaching it with the right mindset. Uh, and uh, we're excited about getting back out there and competing. Pat, what did you see from Casey maybe that you liked in the first couple of games, but what do you maybe need to see more of from him out there? I mean, I, th I think you could, we could go all the way down the line on each and every guy, uh, including the head coach sitting here, of what things that we could do better. Um, you know, I, I, one thing I love about Kaysen is is his approach and his mindset every day. Um, you know, he, as we mentioned, you know, he, he, he hadn't been in the starting lineup for the first couple games, but his approach and his mentality every single day. I think just, you know, I could say this about everybody on our team, just, just consistency. Um, you know, game in, game out, day in, day out. You know, I think that's, you know, that's something that, uh, that he can improve on. I mean, obviously, He's one of our best players. Um, everybody knows how much we rely on him. But I've been very proud of him in his development, uh, grasping and understanding a new system. And uh, he's going to have a phenomenal year. Thank you. All right, thanks. All right.